Hello and welcome to our reviews. Today we'll be reviewing the Marvel Select Spider-Man. So yeah, this is uh, the older Spider-Man that was re-released recently. It is a pretty decent figure. There's actually like more Marvel Select Spider-Mans than anything else if you think about it. Because uh, there's this Spider-Man, there's Ultimate Spider-Man, Web of Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man, and then there's like three or four other figures that come with Spider-Man. Which are like Green Goblin and Ultimate uh, Doctor Octopus and Black Cat and Ultimate Venom all come with Spider-Mans. So if you have all those, you have like 50 billion at least Marvel Select Spider-Mans. But this one is probably the second best one behind the Amazing Spider-Man one. Um, it's pretty good. The articulation's not half bad, and it looks really good. It's one of my preferred sort of designs for Spider-Man. So let's go ahead and zoom in for the articulation, sculpt, paint details, all those sorts of things. All right, starting off with size comparison, let's compare it to some other Marvel Select Spider-Man. So here's the Marvel Select Web of Spider-Man, Marvel Select Spider-Man, Marvel Select Amazing Spider-Man. Um, the regular Spider-Man is actually taller than uh, both of them. Granted, Web of Spider-Man is hunched over a bit, but uh, yeah, he is actually surprisingly good bit bigger than uh, Amazing Spider-Man. I guess they made him smaller for some reason. Um, so, yeah, there's that. And then here he is compared to a Marvel Legends size figure, which is Selwa, and a Marvel Universe size figure, which is Wolverine. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get the other two things out of here and just look at Spider-Man. All right, here we have our 360 rotation of Spider-Man. You can see he is red and blue, as well he should be. He has a nice sculpted in and painted black lines all over him. It looked really good. He's got his spider there on his chest and also the big red one on his back. Um, not really any huge amount of paint shading or anything. The muscle detail is very nice. Um, I am rather fond of the head sculpt. Of course, we'll zoom in on that in a minute. He has a web swinging hand on one side and a fist on the other side, so that's a perfectly acceptable combination of hands. Um, and overall, he looks really good. I have no real issues with the appearance of the figure. So let's go ahead and zoom in on the head sculpt real quick. All right, here we have Spider-Man's head sculpt. As I said, I do like it because it's got very big eyes. I like big eyes on Spider-Man. Big white eyes. I don't like um, whoever it is that does the smaller whites with larger blacks around the eyes. I don't like that particular design for Spider-Man. But this is cool. Uh, you can see all the lines are sculpted in there, all painted black. Mine does have some a uh, little bit of paint smudging in the eyes, a little bit of dark stuff inside the whites of the eyes. It does uh, look kind of bad close up. You can't really tell it from a distance, but it's a bit annoying. Um, sculpt wise, there's not really a lot of sculpting minus the lines because it's just a you know round head sculpt. But it looks pretty good, and it looks like I would like Spider-Man to look. So that is all cool. Anyway, let's zoom out and look at articulation. Spider-Man's articulation is decent, especially since this is an older Marvel Select figure. Um, it's, it's pretty good, but it's not to a caliber you would want for someone like Spider-Man. Head is on a ball peg, but it barely moves up and down. Good, good rotation out of it. Little, very slight pivot, barely doesn't even matter. Ball joint shoulders are pretty good. Up and down, forward and back. Ball joint elbows as well. Up and down, forward and back. Wrist cut, but no hinge, which is annoying because you want to be able to hinge the wrist forward for the thwipping. Waist cut. His hips are on ball pegs, so they'll sort of move pretty much in any direction. They don't move in and out very far, but they go up and down really well. And they do pivot a little bit side to side there. Uh, ball joint knees, in and out, forward and back. They rotate. Um, they do not bad. I've seen double jointed knees that don't even move that far sometimes, so that's pretty good. And hinge at the ankle. So, overall, it's not bad. You can get him into some Spider-Man-esque poses, but it's certainly not as good as you would want if you want a really good articulated to a Marvel Select Spider-Man, you should get the Amazing Spider-Man. Even the web of Spider-Man has double jointed knees and stuff, so... Yeah, not the best articulation, but it's acceptable. He comes with one accessory, which is a base. Let's look at that really quick. Spider-Man's base is this big, destroyed, rusty, dirty car thing. It's green. It has lots of brown on it, um, which is dirt or rust. See the tires there, headlights, doors. It's pretty detailed. It's got two pegs here on the top for him to stand on. Um, it's certainly not the coolest base ever, it looks a bit weird, I don't know, I can't really put my finger on why it looks weird. Um, it is hollow on the bottom, so, not particularly heavy or anything. Um, I don't know, it's an alright base, I'm not going to use it, uh, because it's just, it's not very Spider-Man-y. I would prefer something more Spider-Man-y, like a wall or some webs or something, I don't know, it's just not very... It's just kind of generic, I guess, is why I don't like it. 
But anyway, it's functional. He can stand on it, and it looks decent. So, yeah, that's all for the accessories, so let's move on to the packaging. Packaging why Spider-Man comes in your standard Marvel Select packaging. Got your Marvel Select logo. Spider-Man right there. Got your little red web down there at the corner. Artwork on the side. On the back, get a picture of the figure, as well as other figures, which are Marvel Girl and Abomination. This is a re-release, as I don't believe Abomination was available at the time, and uh, Marvel Girl is kind of old. I don't know if they're re-releasing Marvel Girl or not, actually. As always, these are good for in or out of package display, so yeah, Spider-Man. All right, that wraps it up for Spider-Man, so until next time, goodbye! Hello, you've just watched one of my videos. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed my videos. If you didn't, run away. Run away and never return. Also, feel free to check out my other channels. Venom Raptor for all my variety gaming content and VR reviews for reviews of various action figures and collectibles. Thank you and goodbye.